inspect the anterior part of Ms. Fletcher and keep her covered in between. I'm going to inspect that she's breathing comfortably, no labor, and I don't see any retractions when she breathes. And if there, um, and I would ask her, I uncover, can you take a deep breath and check the expansion? Can you say 99? See if the expansion on that, no tenderness. The area I'm going to auscultate. Apices in and her apical pulse, which is, there's her sternal angle, fifth intercostal, midclavicular. I'm going to compare it with her radial pulse to make sure they are the same. Pulse is regular rhythm. strength. I'm going to send in the aortic area, and the pulmonic. I hear the S2 louder. I hear both one and two. The S2 is louder in both areas. tricuspid area. The S1 is louder here. In the mitral, the S1 is louder. I'm listening with the diaphragm my stethoscope. I'll turn for the bell. not hear an S3 or S4 and I don't hear any murmurs. The heart sounds are regular in rhythm. In between. I want to check her pulses on both sides. Compare her radial to her temporal. I want to check the carotid one at a time. even. Her skin color is even, no lesions. It's cool, dry. I checked her up here um, around her clavicle or on the back of her arm. When she's older, I wouldn't do it on her hand because it's not accurate. Check her circulation. She's got good capillary refills, her nails are clean, no clubbing notice. And I'll check the other pulses when I work my way down. I'm going to look at her abdomen. I would normally have the bed flatter, so you can see. Check her contour. If it's flat, it's a little, a little scaphoid, and it's... Um, and even I don't see lesion. Uh, she has some. She has stomas. Normally I'm looking for that. I inspect. I'm going to auscultate for bowel sounds. In the four quadrants. Have you had? 
had any bowel movements and that's the normal. Um, any problems with that? Any problems urinating? Has it been pretty, has it been clear? Um, what's the color? I would do gentle palpation, generally, and then palpate over the bladder area. I'm going to check the pulses on her femoral. Make sure they're equal. And I can look at her legs. And check her popliteal pulses. Compare. Look for any edema on the shin. There's no edema. And I haven't seen any lesions. Cut the cool temperature. Checking the dorsalis pedis pulse and the posterior tibial. And checking the circulation, checking the capillary refill on the feet. You know, and I can ask her, I'd ask her to squeeze for strength. I can't do range of motion active. I can ask her to move on her all her extremities and checking the strength on her lower extremity, asking her to push against my hands. Um, see if that's I would make sure she's covered, come covered up. And then um, open the curtains if she wants those open. Make sure she has her call bell and the side rails are up and the bed position is down. So that she's safe. And that's it for the physical. Thank you, Ms. Fletcher.